Hey guys, what's up? Ronaldo CSN5 here with episode 14 of the Play Review Series, and today we are reviewing in form Robin Van Perfect. Oops, Robin Van Persie. Anyway, guys, that's a squad that I use him in. In fact, I used him in a couple of squads, so but this one was the main one, so I decided to show this one. Over to his card now, he's 89 overall, 79 pace, 86 dribbling, 92 shooting, 83 passing, and 70 heading. Striker, of course, for Manchester United. His price on PC is around 3 to 4 million, Xbox and PSG is around a million, but expect him to go down because he will be in the team of the season. Over to the traits now, he's got the shooting, poacher, flare, and free kick taker. Pretty much everything he is in real life, guys. Over to his in game stats, flipping mindfucked after seeing them. I mean, you have like 98, 99, 96, 95 just flying around, you know, like amazing stats. Some of the best I've seen on a striker this year. Over to the clips now, let's talk about him in general. Now guys, this inform right here is probably the most awaited inform of FIFA 13. This one was long overdue and boy is it worth the wait. Hell yeah man, I mean just amazing. He's beast in real life and this inform just replicates what he is in real life. His shooting and passing out of this goddamn world. Anything in and around the 30 yards, instant goal. Just press the shoot button and watch the ball go flying into the back of the net. That's how beast it is. Some say that it wasn't Harry Potter that killed Voldemort, it was this guy's shooting. Jokes apart guys, really awesome shooting and finishing on him. Some of the best you will ever ever feel in FUT, so just go on, use that goddamn shot, overpowered bro. Anyway, next up is dribbling, he doesn't have that much of a pace, but his dribbling is pretty good. Plus he's got like 4 star skill, 4 star weak foot, so you know what, you can just dribble past the opponent, use a bit of skills, cut in and do that stuff. So yeah, it's pretty good, makes up for that lack of pace easily. His passing is pretty good. To be honest, you don't really need that much of a passing on a striker, but uh, it's pretty good if you use him as CF. It's pretty, I mean, it comes in pretty handy. His heading though is a bit of a letdown. I mean, he's not that great in heading in real life. I completely accept that, but still 70, in my opinion, is a bit too low. 75 would have been good. I would have been happy with that. His strength, you know, that's a huge positive, man. You know, he can jostle with the defenders, just push them around and still hold the ball pretty nicely. So, yeah, that comes in real handy in my opinion. Plus, his work rates, they are really awesome. High attacking, low defensive, perfect for a striker. So, overall, guys, I'd just say that this guy is a very, very useful weapon to have in your arsenal. If you see what I did there. <laughs> anyway, his set pieces, amazing, man. I mean, I enjoyed scoring free kicks with him, left, right and centre, power free kicks and corners, penalties, everything is so goddamn perfect. In fact, about the free kicks, ask the City fans. <laughs> anyway guys, his positives, his set pieces, shooting and finishing. A bit of a letdown is his heading, cause you know what, I expected a bit more in that. Overall, I have to rate him 9.5 guys, he is just a goddamn gold machine, the perfect striker for your team. If you're not a peso, you're gonna enjoy your time with him. But if you don't have the money to buy him right now, just wait till team of the season, then when his team of the season card comes out, this inform will drop just like my balls did when I saw this guy score that volley against Aston Villa. I mean seriously guys. So yeah, I guess that'll be it. And if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers. Peace out.